Hello everyone. I do a lot of driving, so I like to make use of my driving time. So I'm going to take this opportunity, if you'll bear with me, to give you a brief update on the ministry there today, the campus ministry at Appalachian State. It started out to be a very rainy, kind of dreary day, but uh, the Lord really um, moved the rain out and sent fairer weather for which we are very thankful that was an answer to prayer so we praise God uh, for what he did there five preachers preached today five different preachers I was the third preacher that preached the gospel today so a lot of people heard the gospel hundreds of gospel tracks went out and uh, they're actually some of the guys may still be there I left about 30 minutes ago I was there for four hours and uh, a couple of us a few of us were starting to leave but some guys are still back there and ladies as well um, I think I handed out about 150 tracks and some of the Christian sisters were out there handing out tracks and some of the brothers so I think it's safe to say that hundreds of gospel tracts went out today uh, for the hours of open air preaching that took place hundreds of people heard the word of God and uh, there were a lot of conversations that were taking place um, by the time the uh, the fifth brother got up to preach they were starting to uh, get a little bit on the rowdy side by that time uh, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, we don't go out to intentionally be provocative, but we know that the message um, goes contrary to the flesh. So, uh, therefore, people will be provoked when they hear the gospel. Uh, we do try to go in love. Uh, well, we don't need to try. I mean, let me back up. We are commanded to go in love and to speak the truth in love. And that's what we endeavor to do. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, sometimes people are provoked when they hear the uh, truth of the Word of God. They don't care for the message. And we were seeing some of that. And some folks were debating and trying to argue and waxing philosophical. Um, and uh, it, it was an interesting time. Make no mistake about it. Um, some of the highlights that I remember... Uh, Brother Scott uh, was blessed to have a rather lengthy conversation with a young Catholic man. Uh, he was taking him through some points in the Bible about saving faith and, and uh, the true biblical salvation. And the young Catholic was, you know, he was uh, debating his worldview and he was holding his own pretty good, but uh, Brother Scott gave him the truth and we know that God is able to, to use that it's God's truth the gospel is the power of God unto salvation so pray for that young Catholic man uh, that God would give him a new heart that he would turn to the true Christ of the Bible in saving faith and repentance I was blessed personally to speak with a professing Hindu a young, young man I had extended him a gospel track offered it to him and he said no thank you I'm a Hindu and uh, walked off without taking the gospel track but as he walked by the other brother who was up preaching this young Hindu man sat down and started listening to the preaching so I approached him and I was like oh, you know you refused the gospel track you said you were a Hindu but you're listening to the preaching which was a good thing I was a uh, just trying to interact with him a little bit and um, we had a good conversation for about 10 minutes um, and I got to explain to him um, why I believe what I believe out of the Bible and I, and I asked him some questions about Hinduism and I listened to what he had to say he asked me some questions and listened to what I had to say uh, so it was an informative conversation. I think it was a useful conversation. He had already heard the preaching of the gospel by this time. Uh, so I, I trust that the Lord will 
somehow use that conversation for his glory. And uh, one of the main highlights for me was a young lady who had been converted. She had heard the gospel on campus at Appalachian State before a previous time when I wasn't there. Uh, but one of the other brothers uh, had been there preaching and this young lady heard the gospel. She repented and believed and came to Christ and uh, she was converted and now she comes out to hand out tracts. Um, she likes to do that. She was there today. I was blessed to meet her. That was wonderful. Uh, nothing like it. This young lady came and repented of her sin and called upon the Lord and now she wants to know when the preachers are going to be there so she can come out and uh, help with the work by handing out tracts or talking to people. So it was a great day and uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity that I had to speak with people, to give out gospel tracts and to preach the word of God. Pray for the brothers, Brother Scott and some of the others will be back out there tomorrow. I won't be able to be there tomorrow. Uh, but uh, do pray for the ongoing ministry that is taking place at Appalachian State in North Carolina. Take care. God bless.